Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For today's meditation, Joshua chapter 7 verse 19. The book of Joshua chapter 7 verse 19. Now Joshua said to Hagan, my son, I beg you, give glory to the Lord God of Israel and make confession to him. And tell me now what you have done. Do not hide it from me. My son, I beg you to give glory to the Lord God of Israel and make confession to him. And tell me now what you have done. Do not hide it from me. This week we are meditating about being before God. Yesterday I was talking to you about pleasing God. Today, confess before God. Yes, confess before Him. This is very much important. The words that we read, we all know the incident that happened. Jericho was captured. Yes, the walls of Jericho came down. God gave Israel a victory. And now they were asked not to take anything from Jericho. So they all left Jericho. But this man, Hagen, he took certain things lustfully and he brought it to his tent. He buried it in his tent. And now when the people of people of Israel, when they went to this city called Ai, a small city, to capture that, they were defeated worsely by the small city and they were put to shame. And when Joshua came at the feet of the Lord and inquired of God, why Lord, this has happened? God said, God revealed it to Joshua what Achan did. And now Achan was brought before the people of Israel and Joshua. And he was asked to confess before God. And Joshua says, glorify God by confessing before God what you've done. My friend, we need to confess our sins before God and that brings glory to God because when we confess it we are planning and we are getting ready to leave it and start a new life and yes that brings glory to God today may the Lord help us to confess before him not to hide not to keep it within ourselves not to drag on or pull on our lives with that same sinful attitudes and sinful nature, but confess it and give it up to God and leave it and bring glory to God. May the Lord help us today to confess. Yes, that will bring not only glory to God, but also gives us a new start. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 20 through 22. Daniel, he prays to God. He confesses all the sins when he learned that they have to be in that slavery for 70 long years. That was the prophecy that has been prophesied. Daniel says, I confessed my sins before God. What was the result? The angel Gabriel came to him and touched him. And yes, God can you when you are willing to confess before him. Shall we pray this day that we will not hide anything from God. We cannot hide but we will not hide anything but confess everything to God. Shall we pray. Father we thank you for your word this morning. Help us to confess our sins before you. You know everything Lord still Help us that we will openly declare and say it before you and leave it and live a new life. For it brings glory to your name. Help each and every one who will be listening to this word to confess whatever they have done against you, Lord. Let them not confess before man, but before you, O God, because you are the answer for everything. We give you glory, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen.
God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.